Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Today we're in 600 AD and we're just kind of looking around. Right now we have free reign, free access of pretty much the entire world and we haven't been back here since Magus was killed. So what better time to uh, come here? Also, we got the, uh, the pendant powered up last time in Zeal Kingdom. Everybody here is really happy. Oh, the name of the town square after Queen Lean. Really? Somebody stop me! Yeah, I know, some 90s humor here. You would think that working designs, uh, localized this game, but no. So, remember all these black magical chests that we've seen all throughout our journey? Now is the time that we can actually open them, but we don't want to. There is a very good reason for not opening up these chests. Just like in Final Fantasy III, if you kind of wait for a good time, you'll get better stuff. As a kid, I had no idea about this. It wasn't until, you know, the internet and everything that I realized that you could do this. Um, as a kid, I would go around and I would open up the chests in 1000 AD first, and then I would go back in time and open them in 600 AD because I thought, you know, you get it in 1008. Or I, I, I thought that if you got the chests in 600 AD, then they wouldn't be around in 1000 AD um, because, you know, you got them in the past. They wouldn't exist in the future, which is kind of the case, but it's just a little bit different here. Um, so anyway, let's continue exploring right now in this little village here. Hey there. Oh, yeah. Good thing Frog is actually the hero, not, you know, Tata. Hey there. Oh, looks like everybody's just pretty much saying the same thing. Huh, I figured I'd show off this new dialogue, though. Magus survived and is in hiding. Really? Oh, well, kind of, sort of. He's kind of a frog, but yeah. So that woman's really perceptive, knowing that Magus survived and is in hiding. Huh, it's just, where is he in hiding, or when? Oh. So it looks like Ozzy, Flea, and Slash are hiding too on some island. Man, gotta get rid of them somehow. Oh. <laughs> He's talking about Toma there. Yeah, remember he gave Toma all that money and then Toma ran out of it before, um, you know, defeating Magus and all that? Yeah, that's what he is referring to. Anyway, down here, the magical cave is still opened, and although we didn't want to open up that one treasure before, whenever, whenever it gives you an option, say no. Don't open it. Whenever it doesn't give you an option... Go ahead and open it. Then we get a magic ring that's going to increase your um, your magic stat by six points. It's very nice. Oh, well, maybe one of these days we can help you out here. Let's just continue along. Let's see the inn, the market. Let's go inside the inn. Why not? Oh, okay. There's nothing going on. Probably either in the inn or well, let's check out the market just in case. Oh, you're not dead on the floor. He's already... Ugh. <laughs> this idiot. So it looks like they changed some dialogue, they didn't change other dialogue, but I'm gonna go here and just talk to everybody just in case. You never know. Yeah, they're still talking about the frog. They're still talking about Tata. Oh, wow. She wants to marry Tata's father. Huh. Yep. Wow! Just because he's a- man, don't judge a book by its cover! Just because he's a slimy, disgusting frog doesn't mean that he's, you know, a bad guy, or that it was easy, or that he's weak. Okay, yeah, so these two guys are still fighting, we saw that earlier. The main reason why I came down here was to go to the Elder's house and look at his two treasure chests. No, do not remove! And over here, again, do not remove. Huh, you want some jerky, huh? 
Maybe we can get some jerky from that chef. I mean, he gave the jerky to his uh, brother and everything. Okay, so yeah, got that taken care of. Now I've made my way north up to Guardia Forest. Because, well, you know, we can get a free shelter. But that's not the real reason why I'm here. If you recall, there is also a super secret hidden treasure in this forest as well. This one, though, does not give you an option. Anyway, for doing so, we get a speed tab. Very nice. Let's move up to the castle. Maybe everybody's going to reward us now that Magus is dead. If you recall, we couldn't come back here, and we couldn't... Um, you know, this is our first time coming back here. Because once you defeated Magus, we were thrown into 65 million BC. And then from there, we were thrown into... Um, 12,000 BC, so this really is the first time that we can go back to all these other time periods. I think also, I didn't want, the, you know, the story to get interrupted or anything. So, yeah. Oh, they thought that we died. Yeah. Little did they know, we were just warped all over the place. Oh. Oh, where's Frog? Let me just pull Frog out of my ass for you. Here he is. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we get some unique dialogue here with Frog. Oh. Really? The Night Captain? You don't say. Oh, but it's not for him. Huh. If your thanks uh, extended for years to come, how about 400 years into the future so you can let me into the damn castle? Okay, so yeah, we just get unique music, a little bit of unique dialogue here with Frog as well. But the main reason, damn it, the main reason why I wanted to come in here is for this um, black chest, this sealed chest. Do not take it out of the chest. Anyway, with all that, we've done everything that I came here to do in 600 AD, so now what I want to do is get on out of here and make it 1000 AD. So I'm going to do that and see you in a minute. I've made it to present day, and nobody really changes their dialogue here, but let's go visit Chrono's mom, check in on her with our brand new party members. He's not a pet! Man! He's like life-size! <laughs> it talks! <laughs> Mr. Toad. Uh, poor Frog. I feel so bad for him. Everybody treats him like crap. Wow. That's true. She is showing quite a bit of skin, but Isla likes her clothes. And the mom's like, you say yes, ma'am. Don't talk back. <laughs> Yeah, just uh, some new dialogue there. Anyway, now that we have gone into the past and those chests have reacted with the uh, pendant, the item has actually been powered up. It was a blue vest, now it powers up into a blue mail. Very, very nice. And again, I didn't know about this the first time around. I would just get like two blue vests. It really kind of sucked. But, oh well. Now, let's go into the Guardia Forest. And yes, I have been reading your comments, and I know that there is a way that you can go and you can open up um, this time gate by going back through. But right now, mine is blocked. I didn't open it up. I'm an idiot. But don't worry. We'll be able to go through there moment. Well, not momentarily, but later on. It's not the biggest deal. Whoa, terrorists! Doinks! Yeah, we uh, get chased out of there, but what happens if we put Marl in our party? Maybe she'll, uh, you know, scream at them or something. Let us through. Oh. Wait, what? When our mother passed away, he worked all day? No kidding. Oh. Wait, what do you mean he couldn't even drop by to see his wife? 
Wow. I think that this chancellor is kind of telling a fib here, I've got to say. Like, you know, there's the demon-possessed chancellor back in 600 AD. And then there's this asshole chancellor. He is horrid. Ugh. Oh, we get some probation. Well, that's nice. Okay. So, yeah. This is actually, right now, the first time that we can explore this castle. We were not able to do it at the very beginning of the game when we had Marl because she was, you know, still incognito and she wouldn't let us. And when the, le the next time that we came back, um... Oh, the Chancellor hired all the soldiers who worked in the jail. Wow. Yeah, then the next time that we came back, we were put on trial. And then we got warped away again. And then the next time that we came back, Marl was like, oh, I really don't feel like seeing anybody, you know, let's get out of this place. So now, this is the first time yeah, <laughs> because they weren't human, that we can actually explore this place. Really? So even all the soldiers here know that the Chancellor is just kind of a lunatic. Yeah. Gotta check all these rooms. I'm not sure which rooms have treasures and which don't, but I just want to check it out. Okay, so yeah, we got a treasure that time because it looks like um, that leads to the jail right there. Okay. So we've explored the left-hand side. Let's continue on. Another thing. Not only is it the first time that you can go back to Guardia Castle, and the first time that you really have full access to the world, along with access to the pendant and various chests, but this is the first time that you can really freely and truly change who you want in your party. At first, you were forced in with Marl and Luca, and then it was kind of traded in with Robo, then, you got forced in with Isla, and then after that, you even got forced in with uh, Frog for fighting Magus. So now you finally, finally, finally get to choose who you want in your party. Get a Hyper Aether. Awesome. Oh, a locked chest. Huh. How unusual. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat was getting a bit hoarse there. Oh. I don't want to get put on trial. Huh. So that must be the courtroom that we were at. Kind of a strange locked chest, though. I mean, we can open up magically sealed chests, for God's sakes, but we can't open up a crap-ass lock? I mean, come on. Really? Only the Chancellor and his hand-picked jury thought that we were guilty. Asshole. Yeah. Yeah. We're back. Wow, this king is kind of a dick. Hoodlums! <gasps> oh, God. No kidding. Well, what's wrong with you? Oh, that's kind of a low blow, Marl. Oh, shit. I love everybody's face here. <laughs> Shit, he just disowned you. God, Marl. Get a grip. Is the Chancellor crying, or was it like a twinkle in his eye? And he was like, yeah, I finally, you know, did right. You know, I, I, I always wanted to create a rift in this family, and I finally did. I don't know. Anyway, get an elixir. Awesome. And here we have our next treasure. Level up for the red vest for the red mail. Kind of strange how that chest said level up and the other one said the item was powered up. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's, as, it's almost as if the translators kind of missed these things. Because it's kind of hard to figure out how to do this. Or if they purposely wanted different treasure chests to say different things? I don't know. Anyway, let's continue exploring Guardia Castle. It looks like we only have one more uh, turret to explore. Oh. Well, like mother, like daughter, I guess. 
Huh. What do we have here? Hyper Ether. Awesome. Always good to get all these various treasures. And I guess there's a reason why you can't explore this place early on, because, you know, the treasures are just so ridiculous in here. Mega Elixir? I mean, come on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I do kind of wish that Marl had some unique dialogue there. I think that that warrants some unique dialogue. Okay, so anyway, we're done with the castle. Um, next stop is the village of Poor. I'm at the mayor's house in the southern village of Poor. If you recall, this guy's kind of a jerk. He made us, you know, act like a chicken and all that, but we did power up his chests in the past. To get the white mail. And the black mail. Now, let's go into the past and get all those treasure chests that we passed up previously. I am in Truce Inn, 600 AD. And what do we have? What do we have? Hey, the blue vest. So basically, we're just going to be going around grabbing all the various treasures that we um, can get. So we get double treasures and we get the powered up treasures. It's very, I mean, it's kind of annoying to have to go back and to have to, um, you know, go to the past, power up the treasure, go to the future, get the treasure, go back to the past, get the treasure. Like, it's a lot of backtracking, and it is rather obnoxious, I've got to say. But it's completely worth it because these treasures are very, very nice. Black vest, awesome. and a white vest. So, let's talk about these various treasures that we've been getting. The black vest and the white vest are going to um, absorb 50% of the damage of lightning and shadow damage, respectively. Red and blue is fire and water. The vests are the 50% version. The males that we powered up, those are the 100% versions of the... Uh, uh, of each particular element. So it is really nice because we are going to be dealing with a lot of enemies that are going to be, you know, casting elemental damage on us and stuff. So for us to not only have 100% absorption of those elements, but better um, defensive powers and boosts and everything, like it really, really, really helps us for upcoming um areas, especially since we've been sitting around with the crap-ass ruby vest for quite a bit of time right now. Like, look at that, um, look at that defensive boost, 117 to 142, and it completely just absorbs all of those hits. It's so nice. Um, it doesn't really matter who I give all these things to. Let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, for right now, these two are going to be in my party. I'll give you the white male. I'll give you the blue mail, I'll give you the, I don't know, the red mail, whatever, it really doesn't matter, but these three, since they are lower on text, are going to be my party for right now, um, although we still do have some more optional content that we have to get through. We have doors to open up in the future, which is where we're supposed to be anyway, and we also have a new form of specchio to kill, and we're going to, well, not kill, but, you know, fight against try our powers against. Yeah, so we'll be uh, handling all of that stuff next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.